Hey everyone, this is my first car. Got it in 1973. We're in the van business, customizing stuff like this in 1976 through all of the van things. This van has a lot to it, um, a lot to explain. It has, um, it's a chop top five inches, Vista Cruiser roof. And I gotta explain this because all of the little pieces that it takes to cut and make all of this stuff work here, 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 in here, and here. When you chop a top, when you put, put, when you put, pull something down, it gets wider. If I drop this, it got wider. Drop this, it got wider. Now, I kept the vent windows and I, uh, the glass really works the way it's supposed to. And the doors close like, and that's not easy, it's an early Chevy. Um, it's uh, another modification is these here louvers. This here is just a auto parts store junk, literally. Um, this is from a 77 Celica, welded in. This is from an 80 Honda Accord. This, so many people think that uh, every car in the world got a round gas cap door. Well, when I did this, guess what? There weren't no round gas cap doors. Uh, this is from a 72 uh, Mercury Capri. Um, this is all fabricated, a Can-Am flare, all fabricated. These are from a 72 Grand Prix and all the stuff inside was fabricated to make it work. Your pipes? They're the pipes. Uh, they're they're um, uh, thrush. Um, we wheels are uh, American, classic, or whatever they call them. And the tires are, uh, well, you can see. Um, the back door has been, back has been sealed up. And remember this, this bonder work on here, we're starting a new, we're starting a new uh, uh, exclusive club. Vans with body work on it, with, that's over 30 years old. And as, uh, there's a few of us. This bonder work's been on this van since 1983, 82. And that passenger door since 79. It's been painted once since it took four hours prep to, re to repaint it after 18 years. This, uh, the doors are sealed. The lights used to be here. Datsun 240Z rear overrider. You can see class three hitch. Uh, and uh, the stupid plate shade and junk. Uh, this here is a uh, going door. It, it closes and we can see that, you know. And um, I'll just leave it up. Uh, and um, yeah, we got the, all of that. The um, antenna is Frenched. Um, Frenched, just Frenched, yeah. Yep, Frenched in, Frenched. And now we get around to here with the, uh, uh, this here is uh, three wipers on the front. That's fun. And um, the, the, the bumper I made out of the early old style printing press roll cores from the big printing companies, they used to be steel, they're not no more. And don't mind this wet sanding dust, I just polished this up after redoing the front uh, just uh, last night. The grill is uh, from a Ford, Ford, it's for Ford, and I cut it to fit, you know, and cut some bars off. And this is all hand fabricated, French thin. It normally is a flat panel one piece, but this is fabricated and molded in, and the headlights and all of this is hand fabricated. And this is all, I ground it all down and cut it out and welded two bumpers together. And I'm two of those rolls together and cut it to size and how to fabricate the brackets and everything, you know, so I could bolt everything in. And the signal lights are inside there too. These scoops are from a, uh, uh, 
I think another Honda. They've, they, all of that stuff's been on there since 83. And it's got a five inch chop. So I guess then the Vista Cruiser roof on top. And there's a, 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 a convertible top in the back also for additional ventilation. It's, it's almost as good as air conditioning when it's not really hot. And it's perfect for today. Okay, the inside. Okay, the inside uh, was done by uh, a friend shop. He's a pretty big business now. Uh, Valley Vans on Long Island. Um, I said I want neon blue, neon, neon uh, fuchsia lights, and I want the interior to match and do whatever you want. This here, the tunnel right there, I think it's just a console. But early Chevys are known for overheating. And my way to fix that was to fabricate a tunnel and, uh, and the air goes through the radiator instead of trying to get sucked up by an underplate. Uh, and it make, makes a nice console too. Two TVs. Um, the gauges are all um, stage three. Stuart Warner, can't find them no more. Uh, not one inch of wiring that operates the van itself is in here. That's all been rewired every inch. And things have been changed. Components to make the wiring simpler so nothing goes wrong. The stereo is eight, uh, 600 watts. The motor cover goes either way. This time I just figured I'd do the front. It's got a Work 305 built by a marine builder. Driving 4,000 RPMs, 5,000 all day long. And um, it's, all, it's TRW everything, 30 over. And uh, it's got the you know, have biggest radiator I could have made to fit in it. It's custom. Um, it's got the... Uh, the 10 disc CD player. This lever is a, is a, a shirt dryer. And it shows you what it shows you what what temperatures to uh that writing there tells you what temperatures to use to dry your certain t-shirts. Actually this is a four-wheel drive shift lever and I forget. So I had to put the letters there because this is where I shift the four-wheel drive gears. All of this is custom handmade the um there's neon lights that you can't see under there i could try to put them on uh and there is a 600 watt uh uh amp it's a subwoofer in here and there's some storage under here there's storage under here and to make a real bed We got a bed, and let me get. Excuse me. Let me get to the. Put on some lights. At least this one. Okay. Where'd you go? Okay. There's lights if you could look in there and you look under here, you can see a little bit up in the Vista roof. Oh, this is yeah. Disney on. Yeah. Hard to see in the daytime. Oh, yeah. It's the old Norga hide. It's, it's, it's the... Um, what did they call that material? I forgot. And it's got an antiquated uh, that I didn't get to put in a, you know, it's got it's a, a tape player still, mm -hmm. which is now antique. Can update that. Uh, yeah, that's one of the things. <laughs> it's not the first on my list. Okay, um, and we got the bed, and and you got that, and the TV, and the roof.
and that's all it takes. Turn that knob and it locks it up. And I love this thing. I wanted one so bad. I used to have plexiglass in here with a sunroof, but it's so much nicer. Oops. Uh, okay, and uh, all the um, door jams are all uh, pinstriped. Pinstriped. A lot of people don't know that. But uh, I figured I'd bring it to mind. Uh, but uh, it's detailed. Everything has been chromed that can be. The hinges are chromed. Uh, the, the undercarriage is, the, is uh, not as van as four, but four wheel drive. The front end is from a, a CJ7 64. The 305 motor, you can see the pan in there. And, uh, and it's a turbo 350 custom uh, it's custom worked uh, and that's the jeep transfer case it's a blazer rear and as you can see uh, it's got chrome under there and it's all been painted separate off the vehicle under the floor is painted then i wax it this is my my lovely darling sweetheart rita yep and, and she she she, pr she proudly yells at me for working on the van. No, no, she doesn't. She um, she helps you. she's there. Yeah, she's there all the time. Always trying to help. Some, and uh, but anyway uh, I learned every part. Ed, you see? because you've seen. I started vanning in 1974. First run was the run before, um, before English Town, volume. One, there was a September van run in English Town, Speed Raceway Park, and Long Island Van Enthusiasts that was formed in 74 had 60 members then. It grew to 265 members. It's been my club at all since I've been on Long Island, and people still remember, uh, you know, as you can see. Um, but this is my first car that I've ever owned, and it's the, this is the sixth time over that I did it. People remember it in other ways. Did you give her Oh, the name came to be. But anyway, I wanted to say something about uh, Zelda and Vanning. She got her name from me and an old girlfriend that were trying to figure out a name. And uh, she started joking, Zelda. Zelda. And she kept teasing me with Zelda. And like Zelda, guess what? Everybody started teasing me about Zelda. So guess what? Her name is Zelda. Zelda. She's got uh, 56 uh, best overall in shows, not just class trophies or, you know, overall everything number one. And uh, about 160 something other awards. I got lots of specialty awards best paint, best mural best mechanical, best engineering, best engine, best interior, best exterior, best lighting. Uh, what else? There's other things I forget. Uh, but whatever you can think of. Um, best radical, best radical 4x4, best 4x4. And um, well, that's the, the, the fast tour. Uh, a lot of details been done all the way around. Like you can see the door latch with the pin striping around it. That's uh, sent out, the door handles are custom. And, um, well, this is my baby and it, co it comes out for events and it comes out for uh, van runs and it comes out when I feel like it. This is my baby and she's right home with me and then she becomes our home. <laughs> So, but this is my baby. I have lots of years of being on the beach with it. Lots of years hanging out with friends. Long Island Van, the enthusiast, I was one of the original founders. Now I belong to Adventure Vans in Florida here. And, um, and I love everybody here. It's, it's great. Van, vanning is in its renaissance, everybody. We are back in force, not just never going away. We're, we're back we're coming back we've always was 
but we're coming back as you can see with some of these beautiful bands that we got here and they're just one after the other is, is absolutely gorgeous well that's my um band named zelda 1969 early chevy van and um well, thanks for watching All right. appreciate it excellent